Hello everyone, I'm BG3MZU. Now I show you our MAT1500 Pro, a high-power multi-purpose automatic antenna tuner. The tuner has two separate nodes, the special node and the general node. When connected with a transmitter by control cable, it's automatically set to special mode. If the transmitter isn't connected with a control cable, and only connects with an external DC power supply, the tuner automatically is set to general mode. This is its front panel, with three indicator lamps on the left. If the tuner is only connected with a DC power supply, and isn't connected with any control cable, only the lamp general is on, which means that the tuner is set to general mode. In this mode, the tuner can work with transmitters of all models. When we connect the tuner with a transmitter by a control cable, the tuner will automatically check the brand of a currently connected transmitter and respectively turn on those two indicator lamps. The indicator lamp marked as ICOM in the middle is on when the tuner is connected with a ICOM or Kenwood transmitter. The indicator lamp marked as Yesu is on when the tuner is connected with a Yesu transmitter. When we connect the tuner with a transmitter by a control cable, the transmitter supplies power to the tuner by the control cable, and then the tuner doesn't need an external power supply anymore. On the right side of the tuner are four buttons, which also serve as four indicator lamps. The rightmost button is a power switch, as well as a power supply lamp. The power switch only works in the general mode. In the special mode, it doesn't work, but only serves as a power supply lamp. The buttons in antenna 1 and antenna 2 are antenna switches and indicator lamps. The MAT1500 Pro tuner can be connected with two antennas simultaneously. Users can change antennas by these two buttons. The switch corresponding to the selected antenna will be tuned on when users change antennas by these two buttons. This is a tune button and online bypass indicator lamp. This button is used to start a new tuning cycle and indicate the online bypass state when the tuner is in a general mode. In the special mode, this button doesn't work but only displays whether the tuner is online or bypass. This is the back panel of the tuner. The back panel has a label showing the detailed use of every socket. There are three RF sockets. Among them, antenna 1 and antenna 2 are used to connect two antennas, while the RF in socket is used to connect with the RF output of the transmitter or linear amplifier. This is a ground screw used for ground connection. A good ground wire can improve the transmission receipt performance and safety of the whole RF system, so we strongly recommend using this screw to connect with a good ground wire. The uses of these sockets can all be found on the label. The two sockets are connected with the control cable of transmitter. The above socket is connected with the ICOM or Kenwood transmitter. The MATCI control cable is needed for the ICOM transmitter. The MATCK control cable is needed for the Kenwood transmitter. The bottom socket is connected with the Yesu transmitter by the MATCY control cable. The above mentioned three control cables are optional. Users can choose corresponding control cables as needed. When this socket and this socket are connected with the transmitter by control cables, the transmitter supplies power to the tuner by these control cables, and it doesn't need to use this external power socket. If both the sockets are not connected with control cables, the tuner needs to be connected with a 12 to 14 volts 1 ampere external DC power supply by this socket. Only one of the three sockets can be connected at a time. You can't connect two or three sockets at the same time. This is the MATCI control cable connected with the ICOM transmitter and this socket. This is the MATCK control cable connected with the Kenwood transmitter and this socket. The tuner can automatically find out which brand of transmitters it is connected with, an ICOM transmitter or a Kenwood transmitter. This is the MATCY control cable connected with the Yesu transmitter and this socket. Now let's have a look at these sockets. These two sockets are remote control sockets, which are not connected with internet or computers. With them, customers can operate the tuner by a remote control terminal. The remote control terminal needs to be made by users according to our operational manual. 
Now let's see the uses of these two very important sockets. They are used to control the transmission of PTT instructions between the transmitter and the linear amplifier. If you don't use an amplifier, these two sockets can lie idle. If you have used an amplifier, these two sockets must be used because the tuner allows the RF power of 1,500 watts. However, during tuning, its maximum allowable input power is 15 watts. If it exceeds 15 watts, the tuner will be damaged. Between the transmitter and the amplifier is usually a control cable provided with an RCA plug on each of its ends to transmit the PTT instructions of the transmitter to set the amplifier to STBY or OPR. When we use the tuner, we operate the transmitter to let the tuner start a new tuning cycle. The transmission of PTT instructions needs to be interrupted to prevent the amplifier from amplifying the low-power RF power for tuning sent by the transmitter to avoid the damage of the tuner. After tuning, the transmission of the PTT instructions needs to be resumed so the amplifier can amplify signals normally. The two sockets are used for this function. If you don't use these two sockets, you need to manually switch the STBY and OPR of the amplifier, which is very prone to damage the tuner due to incorrect operation. So we strongly recommend using these two sockets. The tuner is provided with two RCA control cables for connecting it with these two PTT sockets. These two control cables are not optional, but are standard accessories. Moreover, the tuner is also provided with a DC power cable used for supplying power to the tuner by connecting with this power socket. In addition, our tuner isn't provided with RF cables, so users need to prepare them by themselves. Okay, the above is the brief information about our MAT-1500 Pro tuner. Thank you for watching.